How to multiply a fraction and an integer. Do you know how to simplify a fraction? If your answer is no, I need you to review by clicking on this red button here before you proceed with this video. Integers are numbers that you see in this set. The dots indicate that the pattern continues in either direction. So it also includes numbers like negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. And also includes numbers such as 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on again. So those numbers that follow that pattern are integers. How do you write an integer as a fraction? Well, if you look at the integer 10, I can rewrite it as a fraction by simply putting it over the value 1. Why? Because 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. So I'm just rewriting as a fraction and I'm not changing the value. So let's look at a problem. Here it says multiply 8 over 9 times 54. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this as 8 over 9 times 54 over 1. So they both look like fractions and in fractions I know I can multiply my numerators together and my denominators together. So it's going to be 8 times 54 all over 9 times 1. And what I'm doing now is I simplify a fraction by looking at the numbers 8 and 9, which I cannot simplify. 8 and 1 I can't simplify. But if I look at 54 over 9, I could simplify that. And I know 9 goes into itself once. It goes into 54 six times. And now I have the new problem, 8 times 6 over 1 times 1, which simplifies to 48 over 1 and when you reduce that it's just 48 so 8 over 9 times 54 has a final answer of 48 let's look at the next problem here it says to multiply negative 2 over 5 times 15 so the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite my 15 as a fraction so I get negative 2 over 5 times 15 over 1 and what I'm doing is just expressing it as a single fraction. So my numerators would be multiplied together. My denominators, I multiply together as well. And I check, can I simplify anything here? 2 over 5, I cannot simplify. 2 over 1, I, it's already simplified. 15 over 5, I can simplify that. 5 goes into that once, into 15, 3 times. And next, I'm just going to multiply. So I have negative 2 times 3 in my numerator. And in the denominator, I have 1 times 1, which simplifies to negative 6 over positive 1. And negative 6 divided by 1, I get an answer of negative 6. So negative 2 over 5 times 15 equals negative 6. And this problem here says multiply 3 over 8 times 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite 7 as a fraction. So I would put it over the value 1. And I have to multiply 3 times 7 over 8 times 1. And I check, what can I simplify? So 3 over 8, I cannot simplify. 3 over 1, I cannot simplify. 7 or 8, I cannot simplify. And 7 or 1, I cannot simplify. So since everything's already simplified, I'm just going to multiply my numerators together. I get 21 over 8 times 1, which is 8. So 3 over 8 times 7 is 21 over 8. If you liked the video, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.